eye contact. So one of the most first initial topics, one of the most first things that you just have to learn to get comfortable with women. And this week's question of the week has that exactly to do with that. That made no grammatical sense, but we're gonna go ahead and continue with this question. All right, without wasting any time, how do I become more confident about making eye contact? I live in a major city and I've been trying to work towards getting better at making eye, talk, eye contact with girls that I pass by in the street. I've gotten to the point where I can bring myself to look her in the eyes, but as soon as we make eye contact, I immediately flinch and look away like a little bitch. How can I become more confident about holding eye contact? I know I'm an attractive, desirable guy, but I feel really worried about seeming like a creep. Okay, before I even get to the eye contact, I just want to tell you something. Get the word creep out of your fucking mind. Because the moment you feel, you even think to yourself creepy, you're gonna come across creepy. Like if you think of yourself like, I'm sexy, I'm just looking, I just thought she looked really pretty. Now, that's not fucking creepy. Another thing. Another thing you can do, honestly, is to just start using your eye contact with fucking with people that just work in stores. Like chicks that just work in stores because at the end of the day, they kind of have to fucking look at you in the eye. If you go up to a cashier and she's a cute cashier, remind yourself to say hi, to just enunciate your voice. In fact, to be honest, public cashiers and, you know, just workers in public and whatever, they're great practice because... You know, they're kind of just forced to be there. So don't don't trap the bitch hostage. But at the same time, use that opportunity to just increase your eye contact. When you go up to a chick, when you go up to some chick at McDonald's, when you go up, not that I recommend going to McDonald's, but when you go up to some chick that's a cashier, whatever the case, in a public area, work on your eye contact. Work work on different things too. Work on the work on your enunciating, enunciating your voice, work on speaking with more fucking authority, and ultimately work on your eye contact. Because at the end of the day, truthfully speaking, there's only one way to get good at eye contact and that's to just look at chicks in the eye. You can also try just looking in the mirror and accepting who you are and just accepting your look and just kind of experimenting, giving yourself those moments where you kind of look in the mirror and you imagine an attractive woman, obviously not yourself, and you imagine how you would look at her, how can you would look at her with interest. For example, you might practice, a, say a cute chick walks into the room, whatever the case is, you might just be like, oh wow, you're really pretty. And you just give her that eye contact. And you just casually, really, really casually, and you just walk away, whatever the case is. That right there is an example of a situation where you can give eye contact and it comes across natural because it's like, oh, you just noticed something and you just looked at her and you just happen to give her a compliment. These things slowly over time, they just get better at it. Or you could become a boxer and just go fucking have some stare downs before a big fight. That also helps. I mean, them motherfuckers gotta look at each other. Look at each other like for fucking 20 straight seconds. That probably could help you with eye contact. There's also videos on YouTube, I even think, uh, where hot chicks just look in the camera so dudes can literally just work on their eye contact. That in itself could be something that you could try. I never tried that. I mean, I'm not sure if it helped. I mean, I can imagine that it could help because if the video's really, really HD, I could imagine that it might really just feel like some hot chick is looking at you intimidatingly. But just remember, it's all about your intent. If you have a good intent, if you are chill, then you don't have to worry about coming across creepy and you don't have to worry about looking away. Also, when it comes to like, that's another thing that I hear, like don't look away first. And I understand that, but at the end of the day, it's like I've been doing this shit for over 12 years and there's still times where I catch eye contact with a, shit, with a chick and I'll look away. Like if you're just walking down the street, those are strangers. You shouldn't be beating yourself up for not staring at some girl that you don't even know. But at the same time, if you start a conversation with a girl and you find yourself looking down or looking away or maybe when you say things and then you laugh you kind of laugh down or whatever the case is focus on just keeping your chin up that's one of the first things that i worked on with my body language when i first got into this was having my chin up and just always i, I actually got to a point where ticks would compliment comment on the fact that i always had my head up like i just always was just like this like all the time everywhere i'm at i'm just like how you doing like i'm never just this or whatever the case is. I walk in, I'm like, hey, how you doing? I, I took my head up. When I shake someone's hand, I lift my head up. And that right there is a subconscious way of showing people that you're very open, that you're open to being, because when people are uncomfortable, they kind of, they shy away. They kind of close up by opening up and then having good eye contact, you open up the opportunity for her to see you as a real person and to read your intent and to read your energy. Because at the end of the day, man, you don't gotta worry about being fucking creepy. Unless you're out here trying to rape bitches, which I guarantee that you're probably not, you don't have to worry about it, man. Have good intent and women, they're very energetic. They can read it. If you honestly have the intent of just 
saying hi, complimenting, and not necessarily being outcome dependent, they will read that you're not outcome dependent. Now, if you are outcome dependent, then that's when you start to come across creepy or you start to come across needy or they start to feel a kind of energy where you're trying to extract something instead of giving value. When you just go around and you focus on giving value, you'll focus on the fact that you don't need to necessarily have amazing eye contact or whatever the case is because you're focusing on giving great value and that eye contact will naturally come anyways because if your intent is something genuine, if your intent is something positive and not super outcome dependent, not I must make this happen, then you'll just naturally start to say things and have conversations with girls and have that eye contact. And also, you know, don't beat yourself up. You don't need to have like, so, like you don't need to, for example, if I walk into a situation, it's early in the morning, I'm tired, I have to say hi to some chick, maybe at a job or something. I'm not necessarily always like, oh, hi, or whatever the case is. I, I might just look at a girl like with a quiet confidence where I'm like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I just walked in. I'm like super tired, whatever the case is. This is still good eye contact, but I'm not necessarily like super upbeat. But there might be other times where I am upbeat. One thing too, though, even though body language matters and it's good to improve upon these things, at the end of the day too, don't focus so much on yourself. Because I know it's just something that like early on, so funny enough, early on, there were times where I would go out to the street specifically to go up to women and I was by myself. And there were days where when I would dress the flashiest, sometimes, those were the days where I did the worst and I feel like it's almost because I was so like nitpicky I was making sure my necklace was right I was making sure my hat was right or I was making sure my hair was right all the time and then other days where I was just out and about natural I wasn't focused on myself or what I'm doing I'm focusing on giving value that's when suddenly opportunities and girls were coming into my life and I would actually have more success because I wasn't so focused on what am I doing am I doing the right thing am I looking at her long enough did I look away because the moment you focusing on her on yourself you're not not putting the focus on her and you're not putting the focus on you being interested in her and actually opening her up and that's what's really gonna make that eye contact last that's what's really gonna make her want to look at you in the eyes and proceed with the conversation so that right there is the question of the week fellas i know this is a short video but i want to thank all our new subscribers we got 30 new subscribers recently since the little hiatus that we came back and i want to just give a quick shout out to all you unleash new gang members thank you well that kind of sounds bad new gang members unleash gang new members to the unleashed gang man this on this channel we hold no punches back and we're about seduction dating and ultimately improving yourself as a man as we progress towards our journey and purpose in life and ultimately just getting better with women so we don't end up in that bad 70 percent divorce statistics initiated by women because you don't want to be a victim of that and ruin the next generation of your family because that's just not going to be a good time and even though the times we joke on these videos it's so significant this is just the first step eye contact and that's just where it starts, man. So with that being said, see you on the next episode, pimp.